Late today, senators signed off on a $10.6 billion state budget. They had another long day working out the details, which included a contentious debate on transgender students and high school sports teams. News 19's Julia Kaufman has more. Republican lawmakers in both the House and Senate have attempted several times this year to pass legislation requiring high school sports teams to be designated based on biological sex, banning transgender students from participating in their desired sports team. This amendment that is being pushed is a form of discrimination. As senators worked on the state budget, Senator Richard Cash introduced an amendment that would require the sports team rule. This is a one-year proviso and it's not permanent law uh, and it's no more intended as permanent law than all the other provisos that get off offered up here for one year. Senator Margie Matthews argued the proviso has no business being in the budget because it's unrelated. This amendment relates to participation in athletics when our when our budget has no money, no money that is directed towards athletics. This comes after the Save Women's Sports Act, a bill introduced by Representative Ashley Trantham that does the same thing, failed twice in the House. News 19 recently spoke to Trantham about their efforts. We need to make sure when it comes to sports that we are protecting our all-female teams. A lot of people look at this as anti-transgender, you know, they're not going to be able to participate in sports. That is not the case. This legislation does not keep them from participating. It just says if they're going to participate, it needs needs to be on an even playing field. Despite the push in both chambers, the legislation has failed so far. After several attempts by Democrats to kill Cash's amendment, he decided to withdraw it from the budget. At the State House, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.